<laughs> ding, ding. Hello. Hey, my calling. Yes. Hey, guy, how you doing? Feeling good? Have Feeling a, good. Have a cup of coffee? Uh, no. Don't like drinking coffee after mornings, you know? I, I'm yeah. One of those morning coffee guys, got to have it in the morning, but never in the evening. Matter of fact, never after 10 o'clock, which is beside the point. Lots of fish I see here. What you gonna do? This is going to be a one meal dish. It's a salad and fish combination. We're using uh, jackfish. Just let me interrupt. A one dish meal. Is that what I said? No, you said one meal dish. Well, one <laughs> you can only, <laughs> only get one meal out of this dish. A Sorry. One, a one dish meal. Okay. And a one it, dish it, meal. It's a salad with a lot of citrus, uh, orange, uh, lemon. Holy smokes. We're going to have some green pepper in there, some red pepper in there. <laughs> Pike. From northern Manitoba again. In the salad? Yeah. This is a fish salad with a lot of salad. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're doing, in effect, is there's, taking there's no our, arguing. There's no arguing no, with you. No, so, but you have to cook the, 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 the fish a little bit. Oh, well, we're going to do that in. Okay. And then once we get that, we marinate the fish with scallops and uh, shrimp. And it's going into a big bowl a big as a... big bowl. As a salad. And then we're making up a dressing. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're using shallots. I see them over oh, yeah, here. Yeah, you got your job already. Yeah. The mad women of shallots. You're going to peel shallots. Uh, I'm going to peal lots of shallots. Uh, yeah, we got quite a few. Have you, I'm uh, so good at it, too. Did you uh, bring band-aids? <laughs> <laughs> I'm always prepared. Oh, you're, all right. Okay. You're, you're let's, doing all the cutting. Let's get at it. All right. Apron. I got the bowls. This is called a long, flat red. I went out with her, I believe. Food Fairs, two grumpy guys in the kitchen. Brought to you by Food Fair. Expect the best from Food Fair. And by Dunright Foods, the finest label for your table. Is there a name for this uh, fish salad? Marinated pike salad. Marinated pike salad. Right. Uh, pike is not necessarily a fish that uh, with people would associate with salad because of the boning problem. You know. That's, I was just going to say, there, are there not a lot of bones in pike? I'll tell you one thing about the, the fish board in this province. They sure know how to cut a, uh, a northern pike so that there's absolutely no bones in it. If you run your fingers along the edge here, that'll tell you whether there's bones in that fish or not. Not one. You know, if you run your fingers up and down your spine, <laughs> <laughs> I know whether your vertebrae are aligned or not. Okay. Anyway. Do you want me to start cutting shallots here? There's no bones in there at all. Yeah, you're going to have to start sooner or later. <laughs> those, those, those are little tiny onions. Yeah. How's your eyes? Well, they're both in there. I don't, who's wearing glasses on this show? Who are you to say, how are your eyes? Well, I'm just making sure. <laughs> I didn't want you to hurt yourself. <laughs> so what I'm going to do, first of all, I've got some water boiling in there. Okay. And I'm getting some zest, and then I want to cut some seafood in there. I'll seafood. just busy myself Ocean. with shallots here. Manitoba lake food. How's that? Okay. I keep wanting to say seafood. Now, is this a cold salad or a hot salad? It's cold. Okay. There are ve not very many hot salads except possibly uh, hot potato salad. I kind of like that. No, with the you going to do that one time on the chew? Sure, you do a hot salad. Uh, with the emphasis now on, on health uh. and diet, uh, this is actually very good. Uh, there's only a little bit of oil in it, and it's canola oil. Yeah. And I try to c keep it at a minimum. Uh, a lot of the dressings are using, like, uh, the recipe you'll notice at the end of the show calls for uh, a raw egg. Take the, the egg and boil it for about a minute so you kill all of uh, any problems that you might have inside the well, egg. Well, in that case, it's not raw, is it? Well, it is, it is a parboiled egg. What are you going to do? Poach the fish there? <laughs> I hate you. We've got lemon. Oh, we, oh wait a I'm minute. I'm going to put a little bit of lemon in there. Lemon rind, orange rind? Orange, and I'm going to put a little of orange rind. Zested, in there. of course. Yeah. You are the world's biggest fan of orange and lemon zest. Yeah, it gives everything, Every really, dish you it make. Gives everything a nice bright flavor. Every breath you take, I'll be watching you. Who did that song? Every breath I take. Air Police. Supply. Was it Air Supply? Or the Cars. Uh, One, police. Police. Yeah, I had it right the first time. Who was the lead singer of the police? I have no idea. Sting. What's okay. his real name? Harvey. Gordon Sumner. <laughs> Harvey. <laughs> That's a rabbit. <laughs> You're going to put that in there. Okay. okay, I think i got enough zest in there. You do, eh? And now we're going to... That's just water in there that you're boiling yeah, that zest in? Just water. I don't think I've ever seen you do that before. Well, it's different. 
Uh, we're putting a few. I don't think a half an hour is enough time for me to peel all these shallots. Pepper, exactly. <laughs> peppercorns. <laughs> a big part. Peppercorns. Yeah, peppercorns. Okay. I'm looking for here. A little bit of uh, ginger. You can use fresh ginger. We prefer to use a little powder. Okay. You prefer mm -hmm. to use it because you can't be bothered dicing up the ginger. That's why. Well, and you got me so it, busy on it, these shallots, that I haven't got enough time to, to do the ginger yeah. too. Mm -hmm. Who played ginger on Gilligan's Island? Uh, Tina Louise. Very good. Mm -hmm. I, I just thought of that. <laughs> Who was her boyfriend? Harvey Louise. No. What the dickens was his name? Oh, oh was he was a name. game show host and disc jockey. Oh. Bob somebody or other, oh. I think. Oh, anyway, well, yeah. Did you ever read the story <laughs> of how they made that Gilligan's Island? She was always in the trailer with her boyfriend. They had to drag her out every now and again to do a scene. They had quite a lot of fun making that show. Um, who played uh, the millionaire on Gilligan's Island? <coughs> Jim Backus. And what character did he do the voice of in movies? Mr. Magoo. Very good. So and who played I'm... Mr. Magoo in the recent movie? Leslie Hills. And where's he from? Canada. And who's his brother? Nielsen from the Yukon. Eric Nielsen. Eric, Eric Nielsen. Yeah, yeah, see? Okay. I knew there would be a point to this. See, you give me a boring job like this, and my mind goes wandering yeah, off into to these things. we're trivia now. We, yeah. Actually, that's uh, something we always do anyway, like even when we play That's guilt. how we met, is playing trivia. Yeah. Music trivia. How could we forget we would, such a thing? We would, we would be at a cocktail party of some sort, and we would do essentially this, mm. except I wouldn't be cutting up shallots. But essentially, we would be uh, standing around saying, okay, well, who sang... Watch him call it, and then of course the key question is what label and what color was the label, and when was it released? Yeah, we always have big arguments about that. Yeah, we have fun with that. Yeah. Okay, Not anymore. We're going to get that, uh, that. That's the pipe. We've grown up, and we don't do that anymore. I have a few more leftovers in there. Okay, but what have you been doing while I've been yakking? I've been here? cutting the pike. Uh huh. And I'm going to add the uh, scallops <laughs> and the shrimp. Okay. And then get all my fish ready for a set. For a salad, you could make this, this is, is it, you, it looks like you're starting a soup, like one of your world famous practically soups. So oh, this is a nice way to eat fish, it's a little different. Mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, I mean, most people just... Do you want me to do all these shallots, Lee? Yeah. Well, <laughs> okay. Yeah, we'll be back. I'll still be doing shallots when you come yeah, back. Yeah, the lady of shallot. <laughs> Lee's Leftovers, presented by... Done Right Foods, the finest label for your table. A fish salad, marinated pike, is that it? That's marinated pike, and okay. we've got scallops in there now, and I put the shrimp in there now. So you started off with boiling water and... and lemon and orange. Lemon and orange. Right. And peppercorns and ginger. And while you've been doing all of that, having mm -hmm. all that fun, mm -hmm. I've been here threading these little itty bitty shallots. <laughs> What's the difference in flavor from an onion to a shallot? Uh, the shallot, shallot is milder, right? Well, they're more expensive for one. More expensive. <laughs> and uh, they have a little bit of a garlic flavor to them as well. Thought you'd get away out the garlic. Uh, okay. Okay, I'm going to have to put some garlic. I want to put a little garlic in da, da, da. I've had more fun in my life. You should have warned me about this. I would okay, have let my fingernails there. grow. You're almost there. You think? Yeah. What am I going to do? Throw them in whole, or do you, I got to chop them up, too? You chop them up. Aw. I'm going to put a little bit of garlic in here. Okay. And these pieces like that. Okay. Now, now are you we'll boiling that peeling. or poaching it, or what Oranges. are you doing with that? That's mm -hmm. it. With that mess there, what, what are you doing with it? Mess there. We're just going to boil. Well, that potage there. Okay, that's we're just potage. We're, we're, we're getting the fish ready to put in the salad once we cool it down a little bit. Okay, so you didn't boil it. You just kind of. I think the garbage is overflowing here. Okay. You just. Kind of, I'm trying to figure out what it is that you did here. You didn't exactly poach it, but you didn't boil it either. Well, you just you put it in hot it water because you, you'll, you'll come up with a mush. You want a mush? Eh? <laughs> well, it depends if you mean what you mean by mush. <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't want a mush. I bet these are very expensive oranges. they got numbers here. This is number 4012. In what popular song does the word mush come up? Because uh, I have got a 
Marsh on Marsh you. Marsh <laughs> my baby on you. <laughs> yeah. uh, shallots will do that to uh, you. Yeah, you, <laughs> you peel enough shallots in your life, you'll do anything to get away from them. Yeah, actually, there is. North to Alaska. Remember that one? The song is, uh, The World Will Pardon My Mush. No, but I in have North got to a Alaska, crush they on you. say mush. Well, I'm still. Oh yeah, the Huskies, way up north to way Alaska. Up. Way up north to Alaska. North to Alaska. They're going north. The rush is on. I went up north once. Hey, okay, who starred in North to Alaska? Hey. Okay, John Wayne. Okay. And Stuart Granger. Yep. And who played the young brother? You'll never get this one. Harvey. Fabian. Was it Fabian? Fabian Forte played in that movie, yeah. He, he could act? No, he was just in the movie. He was a good-looking kid, similar to myself when I was younger. <laughs> he, says, he says, how do you get to be a rock singer? He says, well, we wait for a good-looking kid to walk by. <laughs> he says, I can't sing. He said, who cares? <laughs> in those days, anyway. That's yeah, from South Philadelphia. Bob Crew got all of them together. Frankie Avalon, Bobby Rydell, Fabian, like that. Uh, Bobby Darren, of course, whose real name was? Robert... To, uh, Walden Casato. Okay. Robert Walden Casato. Yep. Was it really? Yes, it was. And who was he married to? Oh, Connie Stevens. Sandra D. Eddie Fisher was married <laughs> to Connie Stevens. I'm guessing here. I'm trying to work. I'm, I'm trying not okay. to sneeze under your shallots. This fish is just about ready to uh, Have you got enough I, shallots I, I here yet, Lee? I make sure that it's nice and blue. Yeah, it's starting there. Okay. Okay. Because we're going to be marinating it. Hey. This is the kind of Take dish... You're praying for anybody to come into the kitchen to talk to you. <laughs> oh, when they get in the kitchen, they start bothering you. Yeah. Listen, tell me something mm -hmm. for true. You just went out and got about 14 pounds of shallots and said, tell Don to peel them while I'm making this dish, right? There is no point to be doing all of these shallots other than that. <laughs> well, the recipe calls You're not for as onions. devious as you might think you are. The recipe calls for onions. The recipe called for an onion. So yeah. instead of giving me one onion, whack, you got to give me all of this. A little bit of artistic license. <laughs> That's what I'm using. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know you sit around there and think, now what can I get I Don to do there. that will cause him to spend a whole lot of time is. in a dull, boring, repetitive job? I got an Going idea. Shots. Let's get him a morning radio show. <laughs> 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 I'm just joshing. How long have you been in radio? Or how long were you? Be December 14th, I'll be 40 years. Aha, uh -huh, gotcha. 42. Really? 42 years. How long were you, how old were you when you got into it? 18. 18? Yep. My mom and dad drove me to my first job. I was in Chatham, Ontario. Where was yours? Met it, no, Yellowknife, Northwest Territories. Oh. <laughs> Guy says, you want to be an announcer? I said, sure. He says, there's the board, have fun. <laughs> and left. And I go on here. Yellowknife in the Northwest Territories. Yeah. 250 watts. It didn't matter. There was nobody listening anyway. Only seals could hear you. Yeah, we had 300 people. <laughs> we'll be back with more of this recollection. Two of them were women. <laughs> Lee's Leftovers presented by Dunright Foods, a supplier of portion control poultry since 1945. Twenty minutes doing shallots. This is what I come up with. So what are you gonna do with them? Oh, they're cute. Yeah, yeah. Save them. <laughs> now, now, what I'd like you to do oh, is, yeah? is uh, cut up the oranges. Oh, sure. Cut up oranges nice, now. Nice slices now. Nice slices. You can do like this. Hey, you know. make, make make them pretty. Could you do that again for me? Show me how that's done. Those are, those are seedless navel oranges. Uh, seedless navel orange. Okay, yeah, I gotta okay. make some dressing here. I wonder if there is such a thing as a seedless army orange. <laughs> or perhaps the Air Force. <laughs> now, ordinarily, I have a good time. If you had an orange, uh, orange juice extractor, you could do this in seconds. We have one. Haven't we got one? No. I thought I saw one back there. Not, not for taking out. You got a fish back there in a bowl. Did you know that? <laughs> Is that the one that was frozen from yesterday? <laughs> I don't know. No, it, if you're worried about uh, the fish not being cooked properly, I worry about the fish not being cooked enough, Lee. Well, lime juice will actually cook it. You know, you can cook fish with just straight, ordinary lime juice. Well, of course, they do it in Mexico. Yeah. It's called serviche. 
Well, wait Cerviche. a minute. That's cerveza. That's Cerviche. beer. Cerviche. Yeah, cerveza. Cerviche. It's uh, shrimp and uh, lime juice, actually. Right? Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. Okay. You're right. Okay. Oh, what's yeah. that? Orange juice? That's orange juice. So uh, you're no, squeezing no. orange juice, and do, I'm slicing orange juice. We're going to do li li uh, li uh, lemons. I'm taking off some of this uh, seed that you left here, or rather rind that you left here. Good for you. Yeah. You're learning. Yeah. Yeah. Well, okay. any boob knows enough to take the, take the rind off the orange. That's good. That's one of your favorite expressions, isn't it? What? Take the rind off the orange? No. Refer referring, referring to people as boobs. As, well, it's, it's, a, it's a term that, never mind. <laughs> I think it covers the ground, you know? Oh, I'll tell you one thing. Why didn't you get an orange juice squeezer? That's more fun doing this. No, it isn't. It's no fun at all. It doesn't look to me like you're having any fun. It's a lot of fun. Okay, all right. I'm just slicing oranges here. <laughs> yeah, we've got to use a lemon reamer. A lemon reamer? Yeah, but this this is the way I do it anyway. I've got two lemons in there, two oranges in there. Okay. And that's all I need, so. What are you going to do with it? Oh, is this part of a salad I'm dressing? I'm making the kind of dressing, deal? yeah. Oh, I'm so catching on pretty quick. So here. I've got that. Yes, you do. You catch on really fast. Hope you don't mind that there's a little uh, a little bit of rind left on some of these. Actually, I read somewhere sometime that the best part of an orange was the uh, rind. So I used to eat the orange rind and all for about five years. It tasted awful. See, with I don't know why I did it. I'm putting limes in there too. Hmm? It's a citrus dressing. I got the lime, I got the lemon, I got the orange. You got the remedy, you got the And The now, oranges are sliced. Can I go home now? Yes, or is can. there more to do? I gotta put the gray poupon mustard in there. Gray poupon mustard. There's a spoon over there. You wanna get that one? Yeah, sure, Lee. I'll go over here and get this here. Big one or a little one? A little one. Little one? A uh, uh, big one is fine. Big one's fine. There you go. <laughs> I like to confuse you. Me? Yeah, we put a little gray poupon mustard, or you can use Dijon if you like. I don't believe I've ever had a dish like this ever. Is it good? It is. It's excellent. And a well, you should have cut up those shallots, shouldn't you? Coriander. No, nah, we'll put them in. Coriander. There. Tell no, me about coriander. coriander. Can I? It's a spice. I know it's a spice. It's what you smell in baking products. Oh, you go into a uh, sort of like pumpkin pie. Do they put that in pumpkin pie? pie? Pumpkin pie. Oh, yeah. and okay. Thing, yeah. It's got that kind of smell. Yeah. And then you mix that up like that. Mm-hmm. I'm done, by the way. Okay. Yep. Now we're going to put uh, Union oh. Shop. <laughs> I got my work done. We're just going to. Rice wine vinegar? No, this is oil. Oil? Yeah, I'm making a, 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 a uh, trying to thicken it up a little bit. What kind of oil is that? That's canola. Canola? Looks awfully dark for canola. A little bit of olive oil in it as well. It's a mixture then. That's right. You can't answer a question straight to save yourself. I was yourself. about to say, I've added a little bit of olive oil to it, but you jumped the gun. You, you, you jumped out of turn here. When your voice lowers and your eyes lid, <laughs> You think you're being funny, don't you? You'd rather do this, would you? <laughs> no, I don't want to do it. Yeah. I'm fine. I'm, I've done my shallots. I've done my oranges. You've done <laughs> I got all live stock. I got all live stock. I got all live stock. Who did that song? Stan Freeberg. Lonnie Donegan. I know. <laughs> no, you you want to mix that? Mix but, it? But be gentle. I already got one. Okay. How many do you want me to have? Just Gently, eh? Yeah. How about cutting up this uh, no, fish? No, no, no. Don't cut anything up. Just... Let it stay in the lump form. A lump of fish. <laughs> As opposed to lump fish. Mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. Am I being gentle enough? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just put your finger right out there and let me whack it once. Okay. Just... okay. You're just giving me something to do here. This didn't need to be done, did it? Yes, it did. Oh. You want it mixed? Yeah, well, I don't care. It's your dish. Fish salad. Northern pike. Marinated northern pike. Mm -hmm. uh, I've forgotten what's in it. Scallops. Shallots. Shrimp ups. Shrimps. Oh, and here come the red pepper for color. Hey. Well, you the, other, the other color that we're going to put in there is a green. garden salad. Green. These are great, these things. Well, they're already cut up. Yeah, because all that work is done, okay. and they're just about right. I okay. only know how to make salad for an army. Well, and that's so, for an army. Yeah. Okay, keep okay. bringing them up nicely. Coming right along. Bring it up nicely. Okay. And then in goes the dressing. Do these things yeah. go on top? Yep. Okay. 
So the dressing done? Not quite yet. I, I have to thicken it up a little bit, but we'll do that during the break. Okay. okay. Back in a minute. You bet. Lee's Leftovers, presented by Done Right Foods, the aristocrat of all chickens. Marinated pike salad with shrimp, scallops, uh, orange and lemon zest, leaf and lettuce, green, leaf lettuce greens, red pepper, ginger, oh yeah, garlic and shallots and shallots. You want to thousands and That's thousands it. of shallots. Would you like to mix while I pour in my dressing? Uh, mix. Yeah. And you would do this probably. Oh, okay. uh, I can do this if you're going to marinate it. You know, you could do it. Uh, hold back on the greens just until you're ready to serve it. But you could put this in with the so they don't yeah. wilt, yeah. right? Right. Uh, you want to bring it in there? I'm sorry, I have to move it. And okay. I just saw something here I don't like. What? It was a little bone. What was wrong with that? There's a little bone in there. <laughs> okay. There we go. Okay. Oh, okay. Now that's got all of the flavor of orange, lime, lemon, and oil, and uh, Dijon oil. mustard, mm -hmm. uh, oil, uh, but canola oil you can use. Uh, I, it, the recipe does call for a boiled egg, but again, or, or a, uh, a raw egg yolk. But boil it for about a minute just so that you don't get any uh, problems with the egg itself. That's sort of like a now Caesar we'll salad. Yeah, now we'll decorate. Go ahead and decorate. Okay. <laughs> Some decorate. Well, here, let me hold this for you, Lee. That was what I was going to offer. I'll hold your horse, Lee. <laughs> okay, what else are you going to say? Uh, I think that's about it. Uh -huh. So this is a nice, this is a one dish meal. <laughs> I got you thinking yeah. about it. <laughs> I had to think it out myself. <laughs> Yeah, it's, this is this is fun, and it's it's again for a nice uh, sunny, Easy. sunny afternoon on the patio, mm -hmm. and, uh, and if you like fish, and of course it's healthy for you, mm -hmm. and it gives you all you all of your uh, health food things. Well, you know, like lots fish. of lots of citrusy yeah. fruit. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Voila, as they say, à la française. What about the jalapeno peppers? What are you going to uh, do with just them? decoration? <laughs> <laughs> sure, let somebody take a wallop <laughs> out of that one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, marinated pike salad is our dish for the week. And a darn easy one to do. Yeah, that's... Uh, How do you like my shallot working there? Yeah. yeah. I'm practically good. a shalloteer yeah. now. Do you ever catch a jackfish? A big pardon? Do you ever catch a jackfish? A northern yeah. fish? Never bite. chased a jackfish, tell you the truth. They hurt, they bite. Food Fair's Two Grumpy Guys in the Kitchen has been brought to you by Food Fair. Expect the best from Food Fair. And by Dunright Foods. The finest label for your table. The Grumpy Guys Kitchen, provided by Kitchens Plus. Complete planning and installation of kitchens and bathrooms. Special thanks to the Bay Downtown for all appliances, utensils, place settings, and set decoration. Promotional consideration, thanks to KY58, Good Time Oldies, Nighttime Sports. Winnipeg Blue Printing Service Limited. From small to large format, color or black and white reproduction. <laughs> this has been a Grumpy Guys production.